Hey everybody, uh, I'm just going to try to give you guys an idea how a cyanotype print is actually made. Um, so what we have here is a piece of paper that I've already treated and dried with the, with the chemicals that actually re react to the, uh, to the sunlight. Um, ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to make a contact print. So I have, I have a negative here and what I'll do is I'll I'm going to tape the negative to the paper and then I'll put this put the the paper and the print I mean the paper and the negative uh, into my printing frame which I'll show you show you here in a bit um, to actually expose it to the sunlight and then then after that there's a few other steps to actually um, to wash the print and uh, to actually treat it a little bit so that uh, it comes out the the color of blue that I'm looking for. Um, but I'll show you guys that in a bit. All right, so here's the uh, negative that I've attached to the the light sentence paper now, and I'm going to put it into my uh, <laughs> my fancy homemade. Uh, uh, printing frame here. So we just kind of plop that down on the glass and then uh, put this padding on. Uh, how well you can see that. Some more padding in the back. And then what what will happen is as uh, I'll clamp that on with these clamps here and it will be good to go although I cannot do that part one-handed so I'm going to uh, turn the camera off here for a second okay there's the uh, here's my homemade frame all all set up ready to make the print you're gonna notice try to get a little closer here I don't know if you can tell the uh, the light sensitive part the paper the the chemicals that are light sensitive on the paper is actually like a greenish yellow right now. Um, but you see, as soon as I put it in the sun, um, it'll actually start turning blue. It's pretty cool. Now, um, the, the, the one catch to this process is it does take a lot of time. So um, I'm going to cut out here. We're going to go outside and continue from there. Okay, I just put the uh, the print out in the sun, um, and we'll see if we can't see it start to change. You see, it's starting to get a little darker now. Um, with today's, with the way the sun is today, <laughs> and as late in the day as it is, I'm going to have to actually leave this out here for about 15 minutes or so before it's ready to uh, um, ready for the next step. So, but you can see it starting to darken up and it'll get it'll turn up it'll actually go from greenish yellow to blue and then it'll get darker blue and then it's, that's when I know it's done okay we've uh, I've finished exposing the uh, this particular print if you notice now what used to be that that greenish yellowish color is now a pale blue um, I actually had to expose this for quite a bit longer than I was uh, initially said because um, maybe a minute after I had it out there, some clouds moved in, so I had to uh, adjust the exposure time. Uh, I guess we'll find out here in a few minutes whether I guessed right on how long to keep it out there. It ended up being out there for about 25 minutes um, because the sun's pretty low and uh, all the clouds had, that had moved over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the print out of the out of the frame here. Okay, the uh, print's out of the frame. Now what I'm going to try to do, I'll try to do this one-handed. I'm going to remove the negative from the paper from the paper. If you notice, now I got a, uh, like a mix of blue and yellow. So the yellow is actually the unreacted chemicals. So what I need to do now 
is actually wash there is a way in this water bath this is nothing but nothing but plain old water and if you notice the yellow is starting to wash away and I'm ending up with white and you note you'll notice that uh, it's a pale blue um, this is the first time I've used this type of paper for these prints and I'm not can't say I'm too happy with it um, the doesn't seem to hold the the print as well as some of the other paper I've used okay I washed uh, wash this print about as much as I dare without removing too much of the chemicals um, as I said before just a little bit ago I'm not very happy with this paper I think this will be the last time I use this um, I'm gonna go back to the paper I started out with because um, that did much much better okay so now we got this pale blue now here comes the cool part um, when I dip this in this next bath you notice the pale blue darkens up into uh, this royal blue color see how it darkened up and I'll wash this in this pan for a while and since I'm not these are <laughs> this print I can already tell is not going to work out because of the paper I'm just going to kind of speed the process along Normally, I would wash it in the plain water for a good five minutes. I would wash it in this solution for a couple of minutes. And then this pan is just another pan of plain water. And I'll wash it for a couple of minutes. Although, I'm not going to do it now because it's crappy paper. Um, but there you can see a, a finished cyanotype. Um, this isn't as good as the other ones I've done, again, because of the paper. And you can tell how white, how washed out the whites are now. Look at the side of the chapel there where the sun is. You can't make any detail at all out on it. That's because the, the chemical, chemicals really didn't adhere to the paper very well at all. So, but short and sweet, um, that's how you do a cyanotype print.